and welcome to Warhammer Inquisitor Martyr, 40k Inquisitor Martyr. I have gone through the tutorial, gotten through about the first 45 minutes of the game, and now we are into the actual game itself. So let's take a look at it. This is an early access game that just came out this week uh, by Neocore Games, the folks that did the Van Helsing series. I saw this game two years ago at E3 and was super intrigued about it. Uh, it's been on the radar ever since. Uh, under the radar is not really the right way to describe it because it's not been like super duper popular, but it did come up a few weeks ago. There was a really big controversy because the developers decided they were going to have their folks work late nights to try to finish the game on time. They did end up delaying the game, and even on PC it is only in early access. It's not a full release, uh, so we don't need to worry too much about that, thanks to the fact that this game is now out, but it's not out out, it's just an early access release. Um, so there'll be more features coming as it goes, but it's, it's you know, feature complete, mostly. Um, I haven't seen a lot of problems, so let's go! Uh, so first of all, we've got our... <sighs> World, we're in the Caligari and sector. I, from now on, I will need you on the bridge, Astropath. Connect to your fellow Astropaths and the choir of the Caligari Conclave, and pass me the messages which deal with priority assignments. As you wish, Inquisitor. Now we are playing an Inquisitor, and I have specifically chosen a. I've chosen to be a ranged Inquisitor. Uh, I'm a heavy gunner. Crusader. Um, this is what I look like right now. I'm looking a little weird at the moment. Uh, that's all right, though. Uh, it is. This is an ARPG, so it has a lot of um, RPG elements to it. It's kind of like a Diablo in space, if you want to think about it like that. Um, inventory is empty because I just sold everything off. We've got a, a, a skill tree. I'm working on the ranged combat skill right, tree right now. Um, and then we'll have heroic deeds as we do like achievements, you know, and this will give us more things. Uh, there's also a morality system, and we can see our progression towards uh, the ultimate end of our leveling up, which is all the way up here at level 50. Right now we're just rank 3, uh, and as we rank up, of course, we'll unlock more things, we'll get a skill point or a warfare point, and different item types um, as we level up. Okay, let's go and do a mission, huh? So. I did a bunch of pre-made missions already, uh, like the first five like tutorial missions, to unlock the full sector here. This is the Schoenborg system in the Tenbra subsector. Now, uh, when the one of the original attractors of this game was that there's going to be a full sector to play in. Uh, it's not all here yet. Um, obviously, you can see one, two, three, four, five. This is the game's story mode. Uh, there's two modes, of course. There's a story mode and there is an adventure mode. And they're basically um, the same as a Diablo story and adventure mode. So the story mode is going to have NPC characters and all kinds of other things. Um, it's going to have, you know, structured story missions and everything. So you'll have, here's our journal. You'll, you can see I've already completed the chapter, first chapter, and then we'll go to the second one now. Uh, and these are our, our little clues that we collect along the way. There's fully narrated story. It's actually a really good story, and if you're into the Warhammer lore, it's... Warhammer 40k lore, it's really cool. Uh, really cool story. So let's jump into a mission. Uh, I have not played this mission before. Uh, right now we're hunting for a derelict ship, and we could not this find it. This is Metasurgeon Agrippa 723 Theta speaking. How can I assist you, Inquisitor? So there is a dialogue tree for some things. Uh, right now we're trying to find some tech priests to help us out. So we need a Magos Biologist. The request cannot be granted. I suggest that you seek medical assistance elsewhere. Allow me to clarify. The Magos Biologus with the required skill set is unavailable. Current status. Assigned to priority level research for atonement and gathering of sacred data. Our brethren have been studying an epidemic on the St. Abelard Relay Station. We lost contact with the station recently. Popped up right here, it said new clue. Interesting. Um, cursor's not matching up with the size. I don't know if that's because it's in a windowed size or what. So, now we've explored that, that dialogue option there, and now it's going to tell us there's a relay station here we can go to. 
Uh, this can we can pick up some fate points, or we can go to any of these three different planets, and we can take a look at our clue here. Search for clues in the Saint Emerald Relay Station. All right, so yeah, that's where we need to go is to this relay station. And this is a campaign mission. So let's go do this campaign mission. Travel. Loading screen animation here. And there we go. That's just going to tell us about the mission briefing. So we're gonna gain a small boost from this. Plus 25% damage dealt and minus 26% damage suffered. Here's the rank points we'll receive for finishing it. And it is a story mode difficult. It's difficulty is story mode. Uh, so far, this game has not been super difficult. Uh, one of my s weapon slots is empty. I don't have a shield. I just have a power sword. Or chain sword, rather. Um, have not picked up a shield yet. Loot has been a bit um, sparse. Honestly, because there's been a lot of, uh, there's been not a lot of, of floating around loots, but so far I'm really enjoying the game. I'm um, having a great time. Uh, it is a little bit more basic than your Diablo, but maybe that's just because it's early. The epidemic that spread through the relay station was just the prelude to a full-scale chaos infestation. The board station is in total lockdown until the decontamination teams and the Imperial Guard troops arrive. And that could take time. Quarantine doesn't concern me, Captain. Think of me as decontamination crew and support team in one. Do you really believe that the Magos by There are still people on the station. Metrodora Thaleba is a sacred priest of the Omnissiah. I believe she can take care of herself. There's a lot of really cool flair in the world in this game. Uh, Neocore has done a really good job of making the world seem realistic. Alright, so, just like in your other ARPGs, I've got four basic abilities. I have, I'm using right now a, uh, I cannot show you what I'm using actually. You can't change your inventory during the game. So I'm using a, uh, like a bolter type weapon. Um, that uses kinetic its bullets. So basically we have a short burst uh, full auto. We have an aim shot that has uh, some special abilities. I'll show you that in a second. And then we have a shoot and move that lets us go backwards. Uh, so it's right trigger, left trigger, one and two. Or right click, left click, one and two, sorry. We have a grenade. In this case, I, I have swapped out my normal grenade for a stun mine. And then we have the cyclone missile launcher that's on my back here. Uh, back mounted cyclone missile launcher as a kind of an AoE room clear. Uh, we have four grenade charges, that's those little blue things are there. Uh, this is focused, you need focus to use special abilities. I haven't really run out of it yet, um, but that's, like I said, I've only just exited the tutorial. Uh, this is our health bar, this green, yellow, and red bit here, and then this is our shield. Uh, as healing-wise, we have this inoculator, which will restore 10% of max HP per second for 5 seconds, and restore 70% 5% of max suppression resistance, but not over the maximum. Uh, the other thing that's super unique about this game as far as the RPG is going, is it has a cover system, which I will show you now. So, every once in a while you're going to see there's a little dots going to light up on the floor, a little yellow dot. <laughs> So that is a cover dot. I am standing in here. That's not, that's not good. And what that lets me do is get in cover, and I will take less damage while I'm in cover. So you can see the, the health of the cover there, and that I'm shielded. The shields turn green to let me know that I'm inside of cover, which is uh, a useful UI element. Otherwise, this is very Diablo like in terms of the. Uh, Gameplay. Mostly, I'm, I'm, I've been shooting little things and big things, and of course, you have to reload. I'm not sure you got a chainsaw. Right here. I don't have any like chainsaw abilities yet, but I just have the chainsaw. I wanted a chainsaw for some reason. Why are you so sure this Yeah, I'm just 
strange as it seems. He must have been very close to the Lord Inquisitor. Oh, I accidentally hit four instead of reload. Also, I used one of the charges for my missiles there. This is medical supplies that I don't need. I haven't yet used one of my potions. So, in this case, you're going to see that we've got some destructive cover that might make it easier to actually get across there if we destroy the cover before we went there. So, let's see what it is. What we could do is my head was take cover over here. Do a slashy slashy on this guy. Kind of see this taking damage. Five, 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 five. Eventually, this cover will break. Kind of see has a health bar. But while I'm behind cover, I'm kind of like crouched down, and then I kind of crouch up. It's an interesting mechanic for an RPG. Obviously, it works better with the weapons, with this, the ranged weapons. I chose a ranged weapon class because it's. I figured it would be easier. Die unclean. So far, it is easier. I've not really found myself having any major problems so far. Uh, you can see I did take a tiny bit of health damage earlier. Um, some things can penetrate through shields and damage. Uh, so I took a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of health damage, but not much. Um, and we're, we're chopping through enemies pretty good with that, right, with the ranged weapon that we have here. Inquisitor, I have completed the task you gave me. There is no trace of the martyr anywhere in the lockbox of my ship. This ship is ancient and has traveled everywhere in the sector. And still, nothing. I suspected that much. It was worth a try. I wish I had the treasured logbook of my rogue trader clan. It has been in the possession of my family since my ancestor received the warrant of trade. What happened to that logbook? It has disappeared when the Inquisitorial Purge destroyed the clan headquarters. Be quite unfortunate, Captain. Die on clean! This is what it's used to use that marching backwards attack there. These little guys shoot a poison attack. So that, that woman who was talking, ouch, that woman who was talking over the box there is the captain of the ship that we're on right now. We're on a rogue trader ship uh, chasing after another ship. Oh, excellent. There's a... Uh, there's a chest right there. A uh, heavily contested chest. Right Fire hurts. Chainsaw. No, no problem there. So we got a chest here. We'll open up our chest. Uh, looks like we just we had uh, credits there. Um, you can use the credits to trade with the captain to get monies. Uh, there's a corpse here. So there's a lot of these little like side story bits that I'm not going to read out loud to you guys uh, because I'm lazy, but <laughs> you can read them if you'd like. I'll give you enough time to read them. Um, but they provide uh, story hints and also sometimes just flavor and flair. Uh, so we have, as you can see, a pretty standard map available to us. If I press the M key, I can get a map. There was a protective hex on the chest. I must defeat the summoned creature. So I have to kill this guy in under 30 seconds to open this chest, which won't be the most. Time to reap the reward. Now let's let wait for all the poison to go away, huh? Don't want to stand in the poison. It's not gonna hurt me too bad right now, but it's not a habit I want to develop for later on, right? So there we go, we got um another chain sword and some more Caligari credits. Uh, you cannot change your equipment during the game, during your missions. So it's kind of like running a Greater Rift in Diablo in that way. Um, you run through with the equipment you have and you just kind of have to deal with it. I thought there was something this way, but there isn't. 
So as you can see, the board is kind of the map is kind of built out of individual pieces of board, and that uh, will look familiar to anyone who has ever played various tabletop games. Well, that's interesting. So we did take some significant uh, shield of damage there, uh, as you can see. Oh, this is suppression resistance. Sorry guys, I was totally wrong earlier. So this is my health, and this is suppression resistance. I think suppression is like a knockdown mechanic. I, has, I don't know if it's been explained and I missed it yet, or if I just missed it, but... Oh, supply cache. Nice. So supply caches refresh your grenades and your inoculators and uh, medicals. Sorry, supply clashes refresh your grenade and your, in my case, the cyclone missile launchers and inoculators uh, give you more. Capacitor, our arc readings have suddenly spiked to alarming levels. You've reached the center of the chaos infestation. Stay alert. Alright, so let's switch back to our ranged weapon. Not that there's a weapon. There's a little symbol over that guy's head, and what that means is we have to kill him before everybody else. Well, it just means we have to kill him and then everybody else will die. He's like a, like a generator in an old school. There you go. Once we've once we've killed him, there's only one of those left. In this case, it's only just one of one You're in the archives, Inquisitor. Try to find a cogitator that can grant you access to the data vaults. Caligari credits. Uh, let's rotate the view so we can actually see this cogitator. This is the central cogitator of the station. If this Magos Biologus tried to send a report to her superiors, it must be logged here. Well, that looks like the report. I missed the Magos by a Logos on the station. I logged the three potential destinations where I could find her. There we go. We finished the mission. That was a short one. I will just hit exit and it'll take us out. At the end of the mission, in addition to all of the goodies that we grabbed during the mission, in the end of the mission we will also get a sort of a loot box reward. Which, depending on how well we did, will be of a certain rarity. So we did pretty well, so we got ourselves a purple loot box. Although it only came with green items. <laughs> uh, one blue item, I guess. Digital weapons. Uh, nice. That's a nice last pistol, though. Uh, and then uh, sentinel armor. So, in order to use those things... Oh, cool. We also got a level up. We got an unlocked item type plasma gun, a one warfare point, and one skill point. So let's go take a look at our... Go ahead and take a look here at our skill tree right now. I am climbing the ranged skill tree. There's also a single DPS skill tree and area effects skill tree. Uh, several other skill trees as well that for other classes. A support skill tree, uh, which helps us with healing. 
always useful. Uh, we don't need it right now, but it's there. A defense skill tree, which will give us more health and resistances. But we're not doing that. We're just going to jump up this. Uh, increased range skill damage of 5% when target is stunned, slowed, or frozen. Grants 10% damage to bonus range skills when there is no enemy present within 5 meters. There we go. We're just going to keep going on this, this skill here. Uh, because what that's going to do for us is basically just make us into a ranged damage machine. All right, let's take a look at the input of the inventory. We got some nice items. Uh, so first of all, we have two available item sets. So we've set one and set two, right? So an item set one is going to be the one we're primarily using. So we're going to stick that extremely nice signum in there because that's worth uh, worth using. Signums go on weapons, so they're like little 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 trinkets you put on weapons. You can't actually see it on here, I don't think. Oh, that's it right there on the side, uh, on the side of the scope. So you actually, you can see it. It's right there on the side of the scope. So if I remove it, there it is. And the other one's up there on top. Yeah, cool. That's neat. Uh, very neat. So the signums are, are like little weapon accessories. So they go onto each individual weapon. They don't. Uh, they don't do their own. They don't ha uh, go across weapons. I guess is what I would, is what you would say. So. All right, let's see what we got. What else we got? Sorry, guys. So we got a Mastercraft Sport War Gear. Uh, looks like it's a places our stun mine. Uh, I'm not sure what it does. Let's let's grab it. Uh, let's put it in and see what I guess we'll see. A couple of seals. Um, both of them are slightly more powerful. Damage versus regular enemies. Damage versus chaos demons. Reflex chance. Um, let's do this one. We did get that LAS pistol, which I think we should be able to carry along with our... Yes, indeed we can. We can carry the LAS pistol and the chainsword at the same time. Speaking of the chainsword, uh, we did get a blue chainsword, so let's equip that uh, so that we have a Mastercraft chainsword instead of the regular chainsword we had before. And that's going to give us a little more damage and plus four point one eviscerate. And uh, that gives us some health as well, which is awesome. We also recovered a new... Sentinel armor, but I think we're gonna keep our scythe demolition armor. It's a little bit well. Let's let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it. We'll change it over just just for that. That's uh, pretty cool looking armor. It's got little spiky bits on it. Uh, I haven't gotten up to the implants yet. Uh, I got an eye implant and a rare neural implant earlier, but that's been it so far. Uh, I don't really want to get rid of the auto gun. I like having the auto gun. Uh, shotguns are okay. They're not bad. Just don't like them as much as I like the auto gun. They're much more. They're much less versatile. And as long as we keep the, um, as long as we keep the auto gun and then the chainsaw, we should be fine. So let's uh, let's do a sell. Get rid of all of our unused items. We got quite a bit of money. Maybe we can buy something cool. Let's see. I don't think we really need a shield, but maybe an implant if we can buy a more powerful implant. She only has one green one. Skill damage, 6% duration. Yeah, I don't think that's actually going to help us at all, frankly. Um, yeah, maybe she doesn't have anything we need. It looks like these are the items we just sold her, actually. I don't think she really has anything we need right now, which is okay. No, it's not a big deal. Um, she may have an armor that we can use, but... What do we have? 14 right now, plus the turret drop? Yeah. It's 12 left. Yeah, no, we're gonna... I think we'll stick with, uh... Well... This is actually pretty good. Let's grab that. Let's grab that guy and uh, equip him. That will give us another... Weird, it doesn't show up on this one. It's the thing on the top there that you can see. So then we get to level four, we got that skill point and that warfare point. I'm not really sure what warfare points do. Um, maybe it's a passive skill. I don't know. Uh, looks like we also unlocked unlocked co-op, which is awesome. Um, all of the game, of course, you know, it's an ARPG, so you can play co-op, uh, four player up to four player co-op, I believe. Uh, and it's local, uh, mo local multiplayer only, so you can't uh, do it. 
Back to the star map we go. Uh, so these must be like difficulties, difficulty levels. Um, oh, so now we're actually at this, the entire sector. So this is the Caligari sector. Um, and these are all different systems inside the sector, I guess you would call it. So this is the giant map. We were just inside the Schoenborg system. And we're going to go to the Atheon system. These look like mission difficulties, maybe. So let's go. There is also a universal leaderboard for uh, if you want to compare yourself to the rest of the world. Looks like we've got different side missions. So we've got Data Hunt, Panic Room, Frozen Wasteland, Nurgle Infestation, Silence the Guns, Purge. These must be different types of missions. So let's, uh, well, let's take a look. Let's go to uh, Carnus Maximus. We'll travel there. Kind of gives you a, a bit of a uh, sense of how big this game really is, right? So, just a massive amount of levels. So here's our map. Uh, I don't again, not sure what this this number is. It may be a difficulty level. No, sorry, this number. It may be a difficulty level at 262. So, I guess we'll find out um, if this is a really difficult mission. Well, no, that's a difficulty number. Until then, we just play. So after this mission, we'll take a look at some of the available other features in the game, and then wrap this up. I know this has been a longer than usual video for me, um, but I thought you guys might enjoy seeing this game um, before it was, you know, before I was super far into it. It really is kind of a Diablo outer space version, with a little bit less looting. Um, the story mode is, is better than Diablo's story mode. I think there's a lot of people. Electrospectral scanning revealed multiple entry nodes to the mnemonic network. Locate cogitator stations to gain access. May the Omnisire guide your hand. Well, there we go. We found some difficult enemies, huh? Yeah, uh, we found some difficult enemies. Wow. We need, yeah, we gotta heal. Precision shot over here. Cover. Wow, I took, I took a, a lot of damage. Alright, so we've got with the last pistol, we've got our one and two, our one shot is a single shot, and our two shot is a burst. I, will sh I wanted to show you what this armor could do really quick there. So it actually drops a turret. Just an independent turret hanging out. Yeah, that cover is breaking now. Can you guys see that? Oh wow! So there you go on the side there. It tells you exactly how much extra damage I'm taking. Oh boy, that's a. It's time to run. Still alive. Harder than I thought it was. Oh, I'm, shit. I'm 
Missed my health there. Alright, so maybe this mission is a little bit harder than we want to do. I'm not actually sure how to get out of the mission. So it looks like we only get three deaths. So I'm gonna try see if yeah we can surrender. Do one more death worth of mission, one more missions worth of death, and then uh, we'll pretty much just surrender this one. Uh, wow, that was definitely much more than I expected. Uh, even though just those last cannons are doing so much damage, and I, I don't really have the ability to shoot back at them because they're they're so far away. I didn't really bring a, a quality ranged weapon. Oh my god, run away! There's so many last cannons. I'm mostly just wondering if I can like bait that ogren over here. That's uh What I wanna do is actually is try to focus on these guys, I think. I guess I need to turn the camera so I can actually figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Made short work of that over. Man, those last cannons though are absolutely obnoxious. I don't know how to kill these guys though. It's super annoying. Oh, that's a grenade! these guys, but like, it doesn't really seem to be a good strat. Um, there's also a, a turret right here, which is just a very, very large amount of damage. <laughs> You'll have the turret grab the aggro strat. Turrets. Well, really, like the amount of people here is crazy. Like, whew. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this mission, so let's just let's just pop out of this mission real quick. <laughs> Got a little too intense on that one. Maybe I need to learn a little better lesson on that one. Um, but I guess that's a good lesson to learn that uh, those red numbers are about how difficult the mission is. Uh, and yeah, I know I didn't really get anything. So let's go to the star map and see if we have something that isn't nearly impossible. Oh good, there's a 296 Nurgle Demon Hunt. Uh, let's go back to the Atheon system and uh, just go somewhere else. <laughs> looks like we should go to a system that's not quite as difficult. Um, looks like we've got a few green missions around uh, mining. Right? Yeah, let's let's uh, let's check on these these nice green systems, huh? With the campaign missions. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Uh, Folly has been learned. Um, we'll probably cut a lot of that out because that was kind of frustratingly stupid. Um, but at least it's nice to know that I'm not stuck in that system. Uh, my game is not over. I can continue. Let's get started. So we didn't get a full map this time. I guess that was for adventure mode only. Uh, we have to uncover the map. Inquisitor, the rebellious forces of the Astra Militarium have taken over the area, and they're fighting with the loyal Imperial Guards. The rebels have surrounded the colony where the Magus Biologus like might be holed up, and their mortars attack the Imperial fort with artillery fire. I'm just 
just walked straight into a war, haven't I? It seems like it. I'll take care of the rebel mortars first. The cover system is not really useful. I, I'm really, I know that people are like, oh yeah, that's what makes this game different. I don't see any use for the cover system at all. It doesn't, it doesn't actually do anything. I mean, that's great that it's cover, but like, it's totally not useful cover. I don't know, maybe I'm just not good at using it. Because of this is an omni, like, omnidirectional camera that you can rotate the camera and everything, it just makes it really difficult to tell when you're actually, cover's actually useful and when it's just like, like am I in cover right now? Is it like, protect me from those guys in front of me, or no? I protect me from this guy, not from those guys. Like, it's just, it's really more of a frustrating experience than it is a useful experience. And then, like, these guys get covered just fine. They know exactly what they're doing because they're already in the spot. But, like, if I'm in cover here, am I in cover from this direction? No, I'm only in cover from this direction. What use is that to me? Like, it's really... It's quite a frustrating mechanic, frankly. Um... And it's really, it's supposed to be the main mechanic of the game, so... Oh, that's great. I'm gonna get bombed. Uh, it's supposed to be a main mechanic of the game, so it's not really... Like, it's something that you can kind of get away from, because it just is the, you know, it's the most important of the game designers. The most important mechanic of the game. I'm guessing that means a bomb's gonna drop there. We're not gonna go over there. We're gonna we're gonna go this way. That's what we like to see in the game today. Look at that, we're just chopping fools. We'll talk about the, the sounds for one second. They are just so incredibly satisfying. Um, especially the chainsaw. Your are safe to proceed. Recoil on clean. Not really sure what these things are, but they're all gonna die. Heretic. I love the way the chainsaw makes revving noises. It's really cool. this enough already last mission, but man, it's tough to see shit, and uh, that's frustrating, because it's like, you feel like you're getting punished for nothing. Reload. So it feels like you're getting punished for nothing because you're not, you don't know when you're, you don't know when you're about to die because they can't see the way So like, that blinking mine right there, I didn't see that at all. I don't know if the way to fix that is to, uh, let's not tell them what it was, I guess we can. I don't know if the way to fix that is to like, maybe make it so there's a much larger view. I think I was supposed to deactivate that border. I had just fucked up. So far, I haven't encountered any maps, any maps that are like, you know, Diablo level huge maps. Can I shoot it, or how do I save one? Hold F to interact. Oh. 
Um, I've deactivated the first mortar. Well, I'm sure How there's probably a lot of other us? mechanics in this game that are awesome. Um, I really wish game designers would never ever make you pull that to do something ever. It's just a shitty mechanic. Um, let me blow it up. Let me shoot it with my gun. I have a gun, right? Die, That's what it's Presumably I have a gun for that reason. Things. So let me shoot things with it. Um, well, the, the whole press F interact and complete mission thing is just kind of... It's one, another pet peeve of mine. It's one of those things where it's like, well, this is just not a good thing. It's not great game mechanic. And it doesn't like it come up all the time or anything, but... Sometimes it'll come up in a game and I just think to myself, man, no one could make this game much better. One mind impulse component. Quite soon, the Inquisitor. The Marauder Bombers are launching a second wave of bombardments. Sure? Okay, that's fine. Kill the Heretic! Like, if I take cover here, is this helping me? Yes, maybe. Yeah, see, those are bombs. Like, they're not... They're full of, like, bombs. there. Uh, looks like we dropped down to about 20 FPS there for a second. Um, I have not had a lot of screen chugging issues. Uh, maybe there is a number that uh, I'm noticing here. We've got some more. The Marauder Bombers have retreated again. This time, they are leaving the area for good. The next time there's an so aerial strike, I want to coordinate first with the that? Imperial right there, Navy. there, those two Servitor Skulls? I'm pretty sure that that triggers a trap. I don't know if it didn't trigger it this time, because I don't know if it did or what, but... I think the last time I walked over one of those in the high mission, it sort of, like, it shot flames at me or something. Something less than me. And we'll hold F to interact and uh, disable our turret. Second mortar deactivated. That will teach a lesson for us to No convenient warp out this time. Unless it destroyed it. Oops. Or I just was out. I'm just gonna go this way. The um. Otherwise, I'm enjoying the game. Uh, I hope that there's going to be some custom cosmetics. Um, obviously, I haven't gotten that far yet. It's going to be a long road, I think. Uh, you know, Diablo... I don't, I don't speak so long since I'm back to that first Diablo playthrough that I don't really remember it very well. Uh, but I think it took about 10 hours to get through. First time I ever leveled a character to max. So... I mean, if this takes a similar amount of time, I would not be upset. Uh, so see right there, that was like a like a trap. It, the skulls went off and all these guys spawned. And, uh, I'm in the trap. I mean, it's actually them. Uh, because I have a hope to I have a machine gun. And uh, if you recognize that reference, then you're all like me. Kill the heretic! 
but um, you know, it wouldn't be an ARPG without a little bit of screenshotting due to the fact there's two million arm objects on screen. I didn't even really check my graphics settings before I started the game, so maybe I could take a look at those objects. Maybe that is uh, this is mine so you can't really see again. Captain, Metrodor the Labor is definitely not here. That's quite unfortunate, Inquisitor. At least I've eliminated the local. We have two. Uh, I think I was supposed to uh, Reloading. destroy that. I don't really know what that is, but I'm gonna go There's definitely, definitely a little screen chugging going on. Uh, which is fine, I think maybe just a small memory leak. Oh, I got stunned. Uh, where is that? That's right. The game is early access, so you know that, that happens. Early access games, you expect a little bit of uh, a little bit of pain. that would have been useful at all in that particular instance, but hey, whatever. Let's go ahead and deactivate this last, the last mortar. Try to move against so the we've completed Lord this now. mission, and then we're going to call it a day, I think. Call it a video, call it a whatever you want to call it. Just don't call it a comeback, I've been here for years. Put it suckers in fear. Alright, enough jokes. Um, anyways, so we will put... Let's take a look at... We got a, a lot of loot. Um, Picked up a nice chain sword, uh, a nice great sword, not that one, that's a common one, an actual nice great sword, and uh, a plasma pistol. Rare is not as good as master crafted, and then there's a level above it, the purple level. Uh, looks like these are must be these must be build crafting components, impulse component, and electro fragment. And uh, I don't think we got up to rank four. No, we got six ten of twenty one fifty. We got a bunch of credits. Uh, not not a bad auto pistol there. Uh, might have to take a look at that. Some more signums, another chain sword. Uh, and an ion plant. Heroic deed completed. Kill 250 enemies with a medium range. Close quarters gunnery perk unlocked. Deal critical di hits for a total of 20,000. Keen fury perk unlocked. Kill 100 enemies with critical hits. Survival instinct override perk unlocked. So, uh, we can take a look at those real quick. If you would like. So... Close quarters gunnery perk, uh, which does not tell us what does, and keen fury perk and survival instinct perk. Uh, those are down here, so there we go. Close quarters gunnery will give us 25% increased damage against targets within medium range. Right now we have exalted murderer, exalted by murder, uh, equipped, which gives us plus 5% damage for every kill for 5 seconds, stacking 5 times. And there's also Keen Fury, which each kill provides a 1% critical hit chance and a 1% critical hit strength for 5 seconds of stacking. Survival Instinct and 10% critical hit strength minus 3% damage reduction. Um, I'm going to keep the one we have now, uh, just because I don't really have time to look at builds. Um, this will allow us to find a group if we want to find a group. Um, basically, it's just a, a clan. Like, that's all it's going to be. <laughs> It's not a bad thing. Um, there's plenty of them. 
out there. Uh, so it's going to give you some clan perks, which is nice. Um, there's a lot of people who've been playing this game for a while because it's it's been uh, out for a good bit in the early access phase. Uh, let's see if that earned any of the glory. Um, the only thing I haven't really showed you guys is the full size um, star map here. If I can just zoom out, I'm not going to go anywhere. But if we go back to the system. Should be able to also go back out to the sector. So this is the ten bra sector, um, and this is the the entire thing. So there's six planets, seven planets, seven planets, uh, and then you know inside the planets there's missions. So this is, this is a massive amount of content, um, and this is you know just what's here now. There'll be more later. Obviously, I'm only level 85, so we don't want to go in any of this stuff with all these crazy levels. But we'll get there eventually. All right. Well, thanks for watching. This has been a uh, sort of not in depth, but a sort of uh, sort of medium depth look at Warhammer Inquisitor Martyr. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you do enjoy it, I'm going to be streaming this game. I think a decent bit. So check out our Twitch channel, Twitch.tv/KitsukaGaming, and uh, you know, take a look and see if you enjoy watching.